Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of August 17th through the 23rd. So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of the 17th through the 23rd? Beetle. Good fortune. Bag. Something important, such as, such as a new job or a raise. Tankard, celebration, fun, enjoyment. So this looks good. So something important is happening. And you may be getting some money by the looks of things. Um, maybe you're coming into some money. This is a new job or a raise. Whatever it is, it's good fortune. You're going to be celebrating. You're going to be having fun. I think we should stop right there, but we're not going to. So what do we have for Taurus for the week ahead? What do we have for Taurus? Ace of Rods, Ace of Wands. So this is an exciting new opportunity. Something coming to fruition. This is a new beginning. This is a new spark, a new flame, a sudden desire. This is happiness, excitement, uh, fearless as well. So I think that you are you're going to be in a good place, especially at the beginning of the week. Um, this is a fresh start. Okay, this is very positive. It's very positive energy. It's a positive new beginning. It's exciting. This is a new drive, a new desire. Could even be a new partner, okay? This is just go for it. Take a risk. Take a risk. So you, this is exciting, whatever it is. Hmm. Death reversed. Let's get another one. Seven of, of rods, seven of wands reversed. Now this is like the end of a battle. This death is is is, is uh, death reverse is holding on. This holding on is getting old. We need to get another card to go with this to see what it is. This is an exciting new beginning. This is this is a resistance of some sort, though. The death reversed. Seven of Rods. This is giving up. This is surrender. This the Seven of Wands or Seven of Rods. This is uh, a setback, quitting, stepping down from a situation. <laughs> what is this Death card reversed? Well, it's an incident of some sort that's indecision or being held back by fear. But this is ha having no fear. Interesting. Now the death reversed is like Wheel of Fortune reversed. Ah, I'm not sure if you guys are experiencing, well, you're definitely experiencing a setback. Okay, but this is an exciting opportunity to start fresh. Okay, so endings do lead to new beginnings. When you get the Wheel of Fortune reversed, it's interesting because you have fortune over here. This says good fortune. But this is, um, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is a setback. It's bad luck. Okay, it's the opposite of good luck. This is, this is, uh, it may not be a good time to start good, to start new things. Okay, with the death reverse and the wheel of fortune reverse, it might not be a good time to start something new. But you do have a new opportunity here. So this could be bad timing. You may feel weak or overwhelmed or something. You know, something may have ended in your life and you haven't completely released it. You know, there's bad timing here. Now, these are both delays. Something, this is a, something like, I mean, when you get the Wheel of Fortune reversed, there could be something that you've been resisting change for sure. Sure, this is resisting, clinging to control. 
a lot of uh, fighting going on or, you know, trying to win something. This is a loss of some sort. It is. What the hell is going on? Nine of Wands reversed. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a fire sign because we have a lot of wands here. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to be. But the, this is extremely challenging when you get the Nine of Wands in reverse. So you're dealing with a challenging situation. Um, it's funny. I just, I just went and grabbed my hair. Both sides, you know, like grabbing my horns. Both sides. I got, I got my, I got my hair in fists. Weird. So I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I ever do that. Not very often. I just like I was grabbing my horns. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, nine of Pentacles reversed. Or not, nine of Pentacles. Very confused. And I haven't been confused. So there's some sort of confusion here. This is great personal fear, distrustful, over, you know, overwhelmed. You've been wounded in the past, extremely wounded. And I think that, you know, you have an exciting opportunity, but there's a lot of fear. This is held back by fear as well. So you're being held back by fear this week. I think you have a new opportunity that is given to you that is exciting. And you're being called to take a risk, but you don't dare. You don't, it's not the right time. You know, I can't do this. I'm overwhelmed. I got too much going on. You're guarded. Um, you're expecting trouble. You probably are expecting trouble. You're probably on the defensive, right? It feels like that. It feels like you are. Now, the Nine of Wands, I'm not sure if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, but with the, next to the Seven of Wands, in reverse, we have disagreement in here. There's some sort of disagreement or uh, we got a problem. We definitely have a problem. Very guarded. You are very, you are on the defensive. You are, you are, you're, you just want to protect yourself. You're feeling like you need to defend yourself. You don't trust anybody. But you do got a new opportunity. This is you do. This could be a new sexual partner or something like that. This is it doesn't have to be. This is a new exciting opportunity that you know could make you really happy, which is interesting. But that wheel of fortune reverse is not the it's not a good time. You may say that it's not a good time. This is negative repetitive patterns, and this one is too. So you keep repeating the same things over and over and over again. A lot of fear here. A lot of fear. In defense mode. You've got your defense mechanisms up. By the looks of things. Ooh, King of Swords reversed. So I'm not sure earlier if you're dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But the King of Swords in reverse is somebody that... Ah, <sighs> maybe abusive. This person may be lacking integrity, or maybe that's what your fear is, because this is fear. But you could also be fighting with somebody. Maybe you are, you need to defend yourself. This is being on the defensive, and you may be dealing with somebody that is dishonest. Or you did in the past, and that's where your fear stems from, because this is abuse. This is mental abuse. This is neglect. This is a bully. This is somebody that is can be violent. You, may, you could be dealing with some violence. You, maybe you're expecting trouble from somebody. Um, mm, this is expecting trouble. Extremely fearful, distrustful. The King of Swords in reverse is an individual that um, is very cold, very, very selfish. So you may be just fearful of that, but I'm not sure. <laughs> King of Swords in Reverse is somebody that doesn't have good intentions. Put it that way. Um, world. Oh my goodness. The world The world is the end of a phase. It's, it's an accomplishment. This is leaving the past behind. This is an opportunity for a whole new life. You have a new opportunity here, but your fear of repeating the same mistakes... Is haunting you, okay? It's 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 causing you to hold on. You are holding on to the past. You are holding on to something, and it even it could be bitterness. It could be bitterness. But the world card is leaving the past behind. You need to leave the past behind. You need to focus on the future. 
The past is the past. The past is dead. Okay? So this is the completion of a cycle. This is being in total. Now the world card is about being in total balance. It's about being in the flow. And this card is too. So you, uh, you know, have, an, have a new opportunity to bring balance back to your life. And you have a new opportunity that is pretty exciting, but you got to let go of that fear. That is the damn truth. Okay, the past is the past. That cycle is over. It's over. You've learned your lesson. Whatever happened with this abusive individual taught you something. Okay? This lesson caused your evolution. This is a this is a new life. You have an opportunity for a new life, but I feel like you are closed off emotionally to uh, opening yourself up to whatever the heck this is. Uh, interesting. Justice. Justice. This is this is uh, getting what you deserve and balance. So there's there's balance all over here. You're going to be getting something that you deserve and it's going to go in your favor. So this is good karma. Okay. So justice is everything turning out as it should. This one, this whatever this was that ended probably badly by the looks of them. it was a horrendous loss with the wheel of fortune it was very unfortunate it was an unfortunate loss i think that you have an unfortunate loss here okay whether it happens this week or it happened in the past okay this unfortunate loss that really wounded you because this is extremely wounded that has made you be so defensive Okay, it all happened for a reason. Okay, everything turned out as it should, even though it probably didn't think it did at the time. Okay, now you're, now, you know, you're going to be given an opportunity for justice. Justice is going to be served in some way. You're going to, everything is going to turn out. Something is going to go in your favor. A decision. Okay, you're going to be getting something that you deserve. Knight of Cups. Oh my God. Knight of Cups. See, the thing is, I'm sitting here like, nope. Interesting. Anyhow, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is an offer of love. You know, somebody that's interested. Somebody is interested. Somebody wants relationship. You know, they they may have some sort of, they may have their eye on you. They may be you know, courting you or trying to, or they may be trying to. Anyhow, the Knight of Cups is an offer of love. This is somebody that is very compassionate, that is looking for a romance. A romance is in the air. Romance is in the air this week. It absolutely is. Um, you have an opportunity for a whole new life, for a new beginning, if you can uh, let go of your fears, but I'm not sure you're going to. Some of you have been holding on. You've been holding on to the past. You have. Um, but it feels like you're going to be receiving some sort of exciting opportunity. You're going to be receiving communication, maybe even flowers. Somebody may be flirting with you. Um, this person is honest. This person speaks the truth. This person is genuinely interested. Okay? Okay. But I feel like you, and I wasn't planning on this being a love reading, but it looks like it is. Um, but whatever this is, this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning that you can probably trust, but I don't think you do. Um, oh my goodness, you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Cancer Scorpio. Um, but it, does, it could be anybody else as well. Like I said, it could be a fire sign even. But this Knight of Cups is somebody that is looking for a relationship and they are smitten. I think they're smitten. Queen of Cups reverse, not emotionally available. Because you're holding on to something. You may be very emotional. You may be heartbroken. Something could happen this week, even if it hasn't happened already. That This is heartbroken. This is the sadness. The Queen of Cups reversed. This is deep sadness. Uh, deeply heartbroken. Disappointed. So you, you may be very, very disappointed in, you know... 
whatever has wounded you because you were wounded you you're facing some sort of challenges this week with opening your heart you don't want to open you're afraid or there's tears or there's sadness i'm wondering if there's some sort of sad situation that is playing out this week you could be dealing with somebody that is abusive okay with the king of swords in reverse this is harassment but it's over this is somebody harasses, but this is an ending. It's the end of harassment. It's the end of abuse. But it feels like it's bittersweet. It does. It feels like it's bittersweet. I think that you've been battling. You've been needing to protect yourself. But I think that it's you have an opportunity to let this go. You, you're going to be letting something go. And I think that this week is going to be very prominent. I think it's going to be final. It's final. This is a final decision. This could even be the law, law making a decision if it's not you. This is freedom. This is freedom. You're going to be broken free from something that was, uh, maybe it was killing you, whatever it was. It, it was really, really uh, causing you uh, fear. It was really, really causing you fear. This could be somebody that is very compassionate, that you know, wants to help you. They may be, you know, trying to cheer you up or something like that. This is somebody that is very, very feeling, okay, that is coming in. This person is coming in. This person is uh, looking to make you smile. This person is trying to make you smile. Ooh, Four of Swords, that is not good. So the Four of Swords, you, obviously we have somebody here that is sick. They're sick, and I feel like there's going to be a decision made. Uh, this is the end of a situation. It's reached the end. It's time for a retreat, or it's time to take a break. Um, now, that I'm not sure, if because the Four of Swords is the death of a person or the death of an idea. And we have that here as well. So there is something is going to become final in your life that ends a situation that has been really causing you a lot of uh, discomfort. Okay, it's been causing you a lot of discomfort. It has. It really has. It's coming to an end. It is. This is a, this is a major completion of a cycle. This is the beginning of your new life, even though you may be very emotional over this ending. This ending is going to be very emotional. I'm not sure if somebody is, is passing away or not, or I mean, I just got to be honest with you. Anyhow, um, because we have this and this, this is like a, it could even be a near death experience that wakes somebody up. I don't know. Um, this four of swords is, is, uh. I feel like somebody is coming to help. I do. I, I think I already said that. Somebody is coming to help. But this Four of Swords is, is reached the end. I feel like we've reached the end here. Um, maybe it's the end of stagnation. It's the end of a desperate situation. That's what I feel like it is. Um, Eight of Pentacles. So this justice is acting with integrity, doing the right thing, no matter what. This is the laws of karma, or the law, that is making a decision. There's a decision that is about to be made, whether it's karma or it's the law, is making a decision. And this is a retreat. This is a need to retreat, a need to get healthy if it's not too late. Now this is putting in effort. This is working working really, really hard. We have somebody here that is working really, really, really hard. Putting in a lot of effort to get it right. We have somebody that is very skilled. They're very skilled at whatever they do. This person right here is wanting the best, only wants the best. So somebody is going to 
be making a decision to do what's best. That's that's what I got to say about that. I don't know if it's karma or it's the actual law. This four of swords is, is sickness though. It is. It's exhausted. Feeling feeling sick. Somebody is sick. They are. We have whoever this sick person is under here is refusing to take a new approach. They are. They're very troubled and they're staying in a troubled situation. They are and they're holding on for dear life to something that is not healthy. It's not. But this is this karma, this judge, this justice card. This is a decision that is being made, you know, whether you like it or not. So I'm not sure if it's karma or if it's the actual law and somehow you're involved either way you're going to be receiving some sort of emotional support or some tender loving care from somebody who wants to make you smile this week you may be in a troubled situation maybe you're you're sick you may be you may fall sick you may feel like you're you know you want to get away or you need to get away or something like that. But this is refusing to take a new approach, refusing to take another avenue, staying in a troubled situation. I think it's whoever this sick person is. I won't do it. I won't do it. I'd rather die. You know, that kind of thing. And that's stubbornness. So anyway, anyhow, I do believe that Your hard work, I think this is your hard work. This is hard work that pays off. This is hard work that pays off. I think there's some sort of hard work that pays off. And it's about an acting with integrity and doing the right thing, doing what's best. So I think the, uh, the, uh, the, the laws of karma is seeing straight through a situation. They're going to bring you something that you deserve. Maybe you've been working hard at letting go and maybe you haven't been able to let go. And maybe they send you somebody new that helps you to let go. Whatever the case is, we have a new beginning here. With that Ace of Wands and the World card, this is the end of a cycle. And it's the end of a cycle with an individual that really hurts you. Okay, this individual hurt you very, very badly. They harassed you or they bullied you or they abused you or they neglected you. And I think it's bittersweet, though. I think there's a lot of sadness here. I think that there's tears. Um, but I do think there's somebody that is coming to comfort you. They are coming to comfort you. This person um, is very kind and gentle and loving and, you know, is very capable of making you feel better. Okay? Somebody's going to try to make you feel better. The Hermit reversed. Now this is, this is, uh, it's time to socialize, time to come out of hiding. Okay? This is, um, loneliness it's sadness as well so you may be going through some sort of midlife crisis this week maybe you just want to be alone maybe you think you need to be alone or maybe you've been in some sort of hermit mode you've been alone for quite some time this could be the end of loneliness it could be you i think i really feel like you have somebody coming in and it is bad timing i think it's bad timing i think that you're you're going through a situation that is heavy on your heart Okay, and I think that uh, you're, you may not be interested. You may not be interested because you're still hurting or something like that. But this person has uh, something to offer you. And it's, it's bait coming from their heart. Okay, this person is very compassionate. They don't want you to be alone. You know, they want to they take care of you. So I don't know who, what is going on here. Anyhow, um... I don't know who this person is. Maybe you don't either. Um, Emperor. Okay. So I don't know who it is. But this is whoever this person is, this person is will not desert you. This person will not desert you. 
this person is very strong, very protective. You maybe even uh, this person is battle. They're ready to fight. They have a plan. They're they're ready. They want to protect you in some way. They aren't gonna do you dirty like the other person did. Anyhow, um, yeah, this 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 emperor is somebody that is gonna take care of you. Very, very wise, very experienced, typically an older person. If you are a male uh watching this, this could be your energy. Um, you could be dealing if you are a male watching this, you could be dealing with a female that has a very big broken heart. Her heart is broke. Okay, she doesn't trust. She doesn't trust because whoever she was with in the past abused her. Okay, mentally, verbally, maybe even physically. Okay, um, but there is somebody else here. There is somebody else here. This person is very just. Okay, with the Justice card and the Emperor card. Okay. Very just, very protective, very dominant, very um, noble, okay? This person is experienced. It has has a lot of life experience. Probably may own their own, maybe a business owner. This person may be a business owner. If this is you, if this is you watching it, if you are the masculine, because this is masculine. If you are the masculine watching this, this is you. This is you needing to take charge. This person does take, take charge. They don't give up. This is a decision maker as well. When they, they know what they're, once their plan is made up, you, there ain't no stop and they don't change their mind. This is somebody who is very decisive. Once their mind is made up, they, they, the mind is made up. Anyway, uh, Taurus, I feel as though this week, um, if you are the feminine watching this, I feel like you have somebody coming into your life that, wants to protect you there's protection here this person wants to protect you or something like that and if you and I feel like this person is very noble they are very hard worker um, they have a lot of life experience um, and they got a plan and they're not going to give up once the once they get their eyes on they're smitten I know they are once they once they decide that they want you they're not going to you know they're going to put in every effort to prove themselves anyhow if you are the masculine watching this I believe that this is probably your energy and I think that you are very capable of of helping whoever this person is that is broken hearted to heal I think that you are very capable if you don't give up. Um, we do have a very wounded individual here that is in a lot of, uh, is in like a, some sort of heartache. I feel like it's extremely heartbroken and they don't trust. But I think that if you don't give up, you can win their affection. Um, something is about to come to fruition and it may seem like it's the wrong time. But, or that person, if you are the male watching this, they, the, the person that you're dealing with may, may seem like they're, you know, they're a lost cause or whatever, but they're not, they're not. I think that if you can love them, they will open up. Um, this is the end, of, it feels like it's the end of loneliness or, you know, it's time to uh, connect. This is a connection. It is a real connection. Um, but it comes after heartache because there's some serious heartache here with that Queen of Cups reversed. Um, be open to a new perspective. May have something to do with the beach, okay? Because I feel I see the water. I may have something to do with the beach. If you if you haven't met this person, you may meet this person near a body of water, um, or at the beach. I don't know why why I would even say that, but um, 
This is something important, such as a new job or a raise. So I don't know where the story ended. It may have ended abruptly. I think it probably did. So you may have experienced an abrupt ending or something that ended badly, okay? Before you were done or before you thought you were done. But it all happened for a reason, okay? It did all happen for a reason. And I think that you need to allow this person to comfort you, whoever they are. I think that this person, you know... Uh, is a warrior. I think that this person will not give up. I think this person is ready to fight for you. This is somebody that is battle ready. That is very tough. Whoever this person is, if you are the feminine watching this, this person may have a tough exterior. Okay, they may they may be um, they may seem a little gruff. But that's that's just their uh, that's just their outsides, okay? That's just their that's just their exterior. Whoever this person is that is that is coming in is is probably could be a businessman. This person is business oriented. They may even own their own business. This person's going to take control. They are they are um, this person is uh, very honest and very upfront. And say once they once they make up their mind, they don't change it. They don't change it. So I think you have somebody here that is uh, that has made a decision that they are going to uh, protect you. And I feel like you're going to be uh, communicating with this person this week. And I think it's somebody brand new. I do with that Ace of Wands. I do. I think it's somebody brand new. Okay. I feel like this person is, is, you weren't even looking. You weren't looking for this person, but this person just shows up out of nowhere. That's, that's how I feel. This is somebody that can provide for you and, and, and is going to provide for you. So I think you have, you know, somebody really, really good coming into your life. If you are the masculine watching this, you are going to have to prove and fight for whoever this woman is. That is so broken hearted. She is broken hearted. You're just going to have to prove to her that you're not going to give up. You're going to have to communicate and show her some compassion. I do feel as though, Taurus, you're going to be having fun this week. I think you're going to be enjoying yourself, but it is definitely bittersweet because there is an ending here. There is. And that's why the camera ended. But now we're starting over. Good luck.